guys hi yeah, welcome to my youtube channel guys uh today uh actually i'll go direct to the point today i want to answer all the questions that guys have been asking me about my travel journey and everything guys i want to answer the questions simple and clear i know i couldn't reply to all of you because uh writing down i couldn't like write all the full information but right now just doing this video for you guys i think i'll be able to answer all your questions but before that guys before that guys i want to say thank you to all of you guys for my new subscribers guys i want to say thank you thank you thank you so much for subscribing to my youtube channel for everybody who comes to watch my youtube guys i want to say thank you so much and uh if it's your first time here feel welcome uh, my name is adventure chichi i do traveling video where i travel the world and i show you different parts of the world so guys let me go direct to my first question i have all my all the questions with me so i'm gonna answer them the way you asked uh there was a video i did about the vietnam where they rejected my visa if guys you can go back there and watch that video uh the first time i was trying to go to vietnam uh i couldn't go to vietnam because i didn't my visa had a problem when i applied for the visa i forgot to put one digit on the visa and uh, when I went to the airport, they noticed the mistake which I had not noticed before, so they couldn't allow me to go to Vietnam, and they rejected my visa. So there was somebody who was asking, so you lost your ticket money, yeah. After they rejected my visa, of course, they couldn't allow me to go to the plane. So all the ticket that I had bought for that previous uh, for that day, it was like I lost it so that's it and so guys if you're planning to apply for these visas especially for Vietnam you should be very very careful uh, not to do the same mistake that I did you can go and watch my video there so that you can be able to understand uh, somebody asked where when are you coming to Germany uh, this is another question that is is also a good question. Let me say that. But uh, the problem is, as an African, especially me as a Kenyan with my Kenyan passport, it's always difficult to get the visas. I like to get the visa for Europe. It always takes time. Sometimes it's been rejected. Sometimes you don't get the visa. But I'm working on that. Uh, I'm working on applying for my visa to Europe, I hope I'll get it, and I hope I can come one day to Germany. I do say Germany or German, yeah, I hope one day I can come, because I see it's a very, very beautiful country to travel to. Uh, I hope, guys, I'm not fast, and if I'm fast, guys, you can still ask question below, and maybe I can do another video answering more of your questions. Uh, that was, uh, when are you planning to come to Bangladesh? I don't know, but I hope it's soon. Like the time I was in India, it was close by to India. and uh, But uh, I didn't have enough time, so we could have not come to India. Maybe on my next trip, when I come back to India, because I'll be coming back to India. I love India so much. And uh, maybe that time, hopefully this year, maybe we can come to Bangladesh because it's also a beautiful country and I would like to visit there also. Yeah. Okay, I did uh, a video about India and people, I hope guys you watched the video and my title was like, is India safe to travel? And when I put a title like that, it doesn't mean that I'm saying India is not safe to travel. I like people to watch the whole entire video so that you can understand inside the video, but don't judge by the title. Because a lot of people, they don't watch the video and they just take the title. 
So this person, after I said is India safe, I think he got offended and he asked me the same question again, like is Kenya safe? What I can tell you that is Kenya is safe to travel. You can come and visit my country. It's a beautiful country, it's a safe country. But as always, anywhere you are in the world, you have to be careful because you never know. I, you, somebody can come to my country and you can have the best time of their life. You can be safe, but another person can come and you get a different experience. So it's for you to be careful when you're traveling and to be, uh, to just to follow the rules and uh, be careful. Like you have to know where you have to be. Uh, do a lot of research of the areas you're going. Ask locals about the places you want to visit because most, most of the time the locals know better. And uh, uh, all in all, what I can say that Kenya is safe, India is safe, as long as you are in the right place. Uh, another person asked me if I'm planning to visit Goa. Goa is in India. Yeah. I'll come back to India and I will do some of the places that I never did. And that is one of the places that I would love to visit. It's one of my bucket lists. I hope when I come back here, yeah, I'll spend more time to India and I can visit most of the places that I never went this time. Uh, okay, uh, somebody else asked me, are you, coming back to Vietnam. I can't answer that. Vietnam is a very, very beautiful country. I spent like three months there. Yeah, I spent three months there because I got a 90 day visa and uh, I covered like the whole of Vietnam from the north to south. So guys, you can go and watch my Vietnam video. And uh, yes, uh, maybe, but I don't know when I will be back to Vietnam, but I wish I can come another day. Yeah, guys. Mm -hmm. Somebody else was asking me if which country do I like the most between Vietnam and Malaysia? That's it's always a difficult question to ask a traveler because you can never know which country you love the best. When I go to Vietnam, I love uh, particular places. When I go to Malaysia, maybe I love food, I love this other place, so it's always difficult to choose which country you like. Uh, but I will say I love um, both of them because they're so unique in their own way. And uh, I love Vietnam because of the food, the people. I learned a lot in three months. In Malaysia, I, I didn't stay for a long time. So for now, I'll just say that, yeah, I love both. But one thing that I can tell you guys, the one country that I love the both, the best or the most is Sri Lanka and India. That one is so different for me because I connected so well in Sri Lanka and India. But the other countries, they are, uh, they're good, they're best, and they're unique in their own way. And uh, all in all, the world is a safe place to travel. What's your worst part of traveling? Uh, I will say my worst part of traveling is um, uh, maybe applying for visas and going to the airport. I don't like it at all. I don't like going to the airport because most of the time when you're going to the airport, like you don't know what is gonna happen at the airport. And then I don't like like you have to queue the lines. Sometimes you have to wake up early to catch the flight. No. Those are the two things that I hate about traveling. I just want to arrive to my destination. Yeah, I the first time when I, I was going to take my first flight, I was so excited. I wanted to go with the flight and all that. But nowadays I don't like it. It's, uh, for me, I don't know why I don't like it, but I just don't like it. Uh, between Asia and Africa, which one do you love the best? This question is that they're so tricky, but uh, I will say that Asia and Africa, most 
Uh, most of the bad TV are similar according to me. Like when I was going to the Asian market, is the same that I will do in Africa. Uh, the people, the culture, but there, there are many, many, many differences, right? And um, I was open to learn the culture in Asia, and uh, I can't compare both of them. I'll just say that I love Africa and I love Asia. They're just beautiful in their own way. Um, I think my questions are over, guys. I hope I've been able to answer some of your questions, guys. And if you still have more questions for me, you can ask me down to the comments below. I will be able to answer also all of your questions. And uh, guys, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If right now you're watching this video, you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so because we are almost to a thousand. Can you believe it has been like one year? Since I started YouTube, I've been struggling to get that 1,000 subscribers. So guys, hit that button. Let's, when I come back on the next video, let's be of celebrating 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my videos. And thank you so much for being part of my journey, guys. I love you so much, and I can't wait to, I can't wait to show you my beautiful country. Have a lovely day, guys. Bye-bye.